I'm Dan Peterson, technical trainer for JCM. In this segment, we're going to talk about calibrating the sensors for the UBA. Normally, sensors do not need to be calibrated. This unit has self-adjusting sensors, and it self-calibrates on a regular basis and every time power is applied. There are times, though, that you might need to calibrate a unit. If you've done some serious maintenance work on the unit, like replacing a processor board, replacing any of the sensor boards, you'll need to do a calibration. Several things needed for calibration. You need a bag tool kit, which includes a white calibration card, a black calibration card, an ultraviolet calibration card, and a magnetic head calibration circuit card. You also need the JCM tool suite application, which is available from off the of JCM's website. Once you have the application loaded on your PC, start the application. Ensure that you have the USB cable plugged into the front. No switches have to be on. Just plug the cable in. Once it's connected, it will show connected, serial number, make and model the unit, what sort of protocol is running. Using the service mode window, scroll down and select sensor adjustment. That will bring up the, the welcome screen. On that screen, press the start button which gives you a reminder to clean the sensors. The sensors need to be cleaned prior to calibration. Click on OK. There will be a motor speed test will run. Test of the motors to make sure they're operating at the right speeds. Once the motor speed test is completed, it says insert the white calibration. This is the white calibration card. A note on this, keep this card very clean. If there's any smudge marks, dirt, any place where those are cut out, it won't calibrate properly. If it is gets damaged or if you have any smudge marks on it, then you need to replace it. There's no top and bottom of this card, but it's keyed so it only fits in the validator one direction. So you open up the top, slide the card into the build path. You do want to open the top, make sure you don't get any smudge marks on it. Close the top back up, locking the cover, and hit the OK button on the screen. This will do gain, digital analog, amplitude, just enough the, the sensors. The next screen, black reference card. This is just a dark reference. So open up the top, pull the white card out, insert the black card, again, no top or bottom. Click the OK button. Then it's going to ask for the white reference paper again. Usually goes back and forth about two to three times. We'll slide the white card back in, click the OK button. Then it's going to ask for the black one again. Now let's come to the ultraviolet or the UV sensor. This is the calibration paper for the UV sensor. This calibration card is only coded on the side that has the label. There's no coding on the back side. And the ultraviolet sensor is towards the back of the unit, an inch long bar, reflects off a white block by the roller. The UV sensor calibration card needs to go in far enough to cover the white block with the label up. Close the top back down, click the OK button, and it'll do the ultraviolet. The next step is to check all the sensors without any reference paper installed, so we'll remove the ultraviolet paper, close the top. Then it asks for the white reference paper, and this is just a verification, so we'll put the white one back in again. And that brings us to the magnetic head calibration. This is used to calibrate the magnetic head. You have a signal generator, put the signal out onto a circuit card. To position the circuit card, there is a marking that says UBA 1X, 2X. Put that mark at the very front of the validator. Ensure you have power applied to your signal generator. We'll hit the OK button on the PC. What we're looking for here is in the box that says gain one, it's colored blue. You're looking for a value between 20 and 35, as high to 35 as you can get it. And how you get that value to change is slowly move the card in and out of the validator until you get the proper value. 
Once you have it set where you want it, hit the space bar, that will lock in the number. And the indication that it's successful brings up a screen that says UBA adjustment successful, where it says push button, click on that to close the screen. You can shut down the application, remove the magnetic card, disconnect power, disconnect the USB, and it's set to go. Thank you.